a fire kind of a night, Tamara. Yeah, it was a great evening. I know the rain at least lured me off to sleep last night. Maybe it jarred you out of bed, though, if you were already asleep. And we did have some pretty heavy stuff work through in the overnight hours, but the heaviest stuff is past us now. A live look in Fairfield. We're sitting at 46 degrees with partly cloudy skies. So a cool morning around Fairfield and Vacaville, where the roads are likely still going to be wet there along Interstate 80. Not much of a breeze, but the winds have turned out of the southwest now at six miles an hour. We are looking at Lake Tahoe now, 33 degrees, and the snow continues to fall in the Sierra. Look at the view there of the parking lot as we look out from uh, Harvey's Hotel Sky Cam. South wind at seven miles an hour. Snow is starting to decrease though around Lake Tahoe, especially the South Shore and the North Shore, where we have the heaviest snow continuing to fall is south of Highway 50 and pretty much down across much of our mother load spots and even getting down to right around the Arnold level, just around 3,900 feet. We have occasional showers that continue scattering out across the valley here in the last two hours. And right now, as we take it down a little closer to the uh, areas of Wheatland, Lincoln, Roseville, and even around Citrus Heights and North Highlands, you're waking up to a few passing showers, but notice that it's just very light green here on Doppler, so everything is very light. And we may see those occasional showers as we go through the morning commute. Up further to the north in the northern mountains, still pretty active, especially right here around Laporte and Belden area. We have some rain. We also have some snow mixing in, and much of the snow level around Bucks Lake and down towards Laporte and up across Plumas County is getting down to around that 3,000 foot level. Most of the snowfall right now along 50 and 80. Has been right around 5,000 feet. We've seen occasional snow showers into Pollock Pines and Camino, but really that's about it. Not a whole lot sticking at that level. Satellite radar view, we've got another system pressing in towards Northern California. And as this digs further to the southeast, we do expect more showers as we go through the day. So, not the day to put the umbrella away just yet. I think we'll see occasional snow showers in the Sierra around 5,000 feet, mid to upper 30s today to around 46 in Arnold and Twain Hart. Further down the west slope, it'll be mainly Mainly rain showers, 50 in Placerville, 49 in Jackson. We'll make the upper 40s in and around West Point and Railroad Flat area. Again, expecting more rain around Napa and Fairfield with upper 50s today. Wind will be much lighter than yesterday. Could see a few more pockets of rain around Stockton and Modesto, as well as Marysville as we go through the morning. Williams and Calusa also getting in on some of those showers. So your forecast for your Wednesday. Still looking pretty wet. We will have occasional breaks in some of the cloud cover and maybe some peaks of sunshine by mid morning and early afternoon, but another round of rain likely working in this evening. We are dry Thursday, Friday more rain, and dry into the weekend. Not too bad. 518 right now. Let's see if the